Hey, magandang buhay. So, ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang ituro sa inyo paano ang pag-factor ng isang perfect square trinomial. Madali lang ito. Ready ka na? Great. So, ipipresent, uh, bago ko ipresent ang mga examples, kailangan muna nating malaman or uh, malaman, paano ba natin malalaman na ang isang trinomial ay isang perfect square? Unang-una, syempre dahil nga trinomial siya, tatlo ang terms natin. Kailangan, dalawa doon, perfect square na positive. Take note of that one, ha? Yung dalawa doon, kailangan, perfect square sila, tapos, positive sila. Tapos, yung pangatlo, usually, middle term ito, ha? Kailangan, yung middle term, or yung pangatlong term, is equivalent siya doon sa twice ng product ng square root ng dalawang perfect square na terms. Ha? Ano, Sir Ben? Ha? Medyo nalito ako doon. So, mas, mas makukuha mo to kapag ka pinakita ko ito sa pamamagitan ng mga examples. Okay? First example natin is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Una, tignan muna natin yung dalawang perfect square, which is yung x squared at saka yung 9. Positive? Tama. Positive yung dalawa. Proceed tayo ngayon. So, ang x squared, ang kanyang square root ay x. Ang 9, ang kanyang square root ay tama, 3. So, titignan natin ngayon yung sa gitna ngayon. Paano? Kunin natin yung, yun, yung x and then yung square root ng 9 which is 3. Tapos, dodoblihin natin ito. Ito yung ibig kong sabihin kanina na is it must be equivalent to twice the product of the square root of the two terms. Okay? So, kapag ka kinu pag pinag-multiply ba natin ito, equal ba to doon sa middle term or doon sa third term? Definitely yes. Kasi 2 times x times 3 is actually 6x. So, definitely this is a perfect square trinomial or PST. So, paano natin ngayon ifa-factor ito? Madaling-madali lang ito. Ha? Ganito siya. Kunin ko lang yung factor ng x, uh, yung x, factor ng x squared, which is x, yung square root ng 9, which is 3. Tapos, kukunin ko rin yung kung ano man yung sign ng third term natin. Hindi yung 9 ha, kung ano yung third term. Ibig sabihin, ito yung non-perfect square term, which is in our example, positive siya. Sana nakakasunod. Apat naman ng examples na prepare, uh, na prepare ko dito. So, ang gagawin na lang yan, yan natin dito, pagsasamayin na lang natin sila. So, our final answer na will be x plus 3 or the quantity of x plus 3 squared. So, ayan na. Yan na yung final answer natin. Sabi ko sa'yo, madali eh. Okay? Ready for the next example ha? x squared plus 10x minus 25. So, kailangan may dalawang terms na perfect square which is x squared and 25. Yun nga lang, kailangan pareho silang positive. Huwag kakalimutan 'yon. Kailangan pareho silang positive. In our example, yung 25 is not positive. So therefore, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Next example tayo. 4x squared minus 18xy plus 81y squared. Unang-una, kailangan meron tayong dalawang perfect square term. And that is yung 4x squared at saka yung 81y squared. Pareho ba silang positive? Yes. So, proceed tayo. Ano ang square root ng 4x squared? Correct. That is 2x. How about yung 81y squared? Say say natin. Ano ba yung 81? Square ng 81 is 9. Square root ng y squared is y. So, okay pa rin siya. Titignan natin ngayon yung middle term. Kailangan kapag ka pinag-multiply natin yung dalawa, yung 2x, saka yung 9y, tapos dinoble natin, kailangan makuha natin yung third term or yung middle term. Okay. So, 2x at saka yung 9y, kailangan doblehin natin yan. Pag pinag-multiply ba natin yan, magiging equal ba siya sa 18xy? Tama, hindi siya. Kasi that is 36xy. So, sir, ba anong gagawin natin ngayon dyan? So, since hindi nag-equal, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Ah, o, ba diba? Napakadali lang niya. Last example tayo, ha? 
So for our last example, it will be 49a raised to the 4th power minus 56a squared b cubed plus 16b raised to the 6th power. Unang-una, kailangan may dalawang terms tayo na perfect square term. That is yung 49a raised to the 4th power and yung 16b raised to the 6th power. Again, tatandaan na kapag ka-exponent ng pinag-uusapan natin, kailangan even siya para maging perfect or para maging square term siya. Yung fourth, uh, pareho ba silang positive? Yes. Sir Ben, yung nasa, yung third term is negative. Okay lang yan. Ang iniisip lang natin dito, kailangan yung dalawang um, perfect square term, kailangan positive sila. Okay? 49a raised to the fourth power, ano ang square root niya? Nice one. So that is 7a squared. How about yung 16b raised to the sixth power? Tama ka na naman. That is 4b cubed. Tignan natin yung sa gitna niya. Kailangan mapag-multiply natin yung 7a squared sa yung 4b cubed and then double it. Kailangan lilitaw yung third term. 7a squared, multiply it by 4b cubed and then double it. Pag uh, multiply ba natin yan, lalabas ay 56. Tignan natin. Ano ba yung 2 times 7? Tama, 14. 14 times 4. Oh, para mas mabilis, hatiin mo. 14 times 2 times 2. Mas madali yun kesa yung 14 times 4 na diretso. Ah, another learning ha. So, 14 times 2, 28. Tama. And then, 28 times 2 is? Tama ka dyan. That is 56. So, we will have 56 A squared B cubed. So, tumama siya dun sa third term. Ano ang gagawin natin ngayon? Kukunin lang natin yung 7A squared, kukunin lang natin yung 4B cubed, at saka yung sign ng third term. Ito yan. So, ayun. So, isa siyang perfect square trinomial. So, PST siya. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko, kunin natin yung 7A squared, yung 4B cubed, at saka yung sign ng third term or ng middle term. And then, pagsasamayin lang natin sila. Ang ating final answer ngayon ay the quantity of 7A squared minus 4B cubed squared. Madali lang siya. So, since uh, we're talking about perfect square trinomial, I want to focus on the word perfect. Um, practice makes perfect. So, if you want to be good at something else, practice. Ulit-ulitin lang natin. Repetition. Practicein mo. Wala naman agad-agad na magaling. No? Parang, parang yung mga magagaling na players, na basketball players, di naman sila pagkahawak ng bola, agad sila magaling. So, kailangan, uh, nag-practice muna sila bago sila naging magaling. So, kahit ikaw, practice na mo lang ito, sigurado ako magiging magaling ka sa math. And with that, maraming salamat, magandang buhay.